are fellow science majors. This is the Virginia Tech Chemistry Club, and uh, we're here to show you a few demos. I'm Andre Carlini, the president. I'm Amy Lincoln, secretary. I'm Andrew Boyd, the member at large. And I'm Sarah Tucker, the vice president. We're going to show you how much fun chemistry can be. Hey there, guys. Uh, I'm going to be demonstrating uh, what we like to call slime. Uh, this is one of our uh, different kind of uh, demonstrations that we do for a lot of our elementary school kids. Um, this is polyvinyl alcohol in here, and you're going to mix this with a little borax and some food coloring, and you get slime. Um, this is a non-toxic reaction, so um, consider we do this with the elementary school kids. We don't need safety gear. Take off my lab coat, take off my goggles, and uh, this is some of our finished product. Uh, a reaction that's in relation to this is uh, something you can look up online called GAC. And uh, it's done with Elmer's glue if you can't get a hold of some of the uh, chemicals that I just described. Um, but uh, once again, this is a non-toxic reaction. And uh, you can do this at home. You can do this with uh, you know, your kids, your grandkids, anything like that. It's a lot of fun. And uh, like I said, we do this with our Chemical Illusion Show annually through the Chemistry Club at Virginia Tech. And uh, it's a whole lot of fun. Can I do flowers in liquid nitrogen? The flowers will pretty much just freeze, and you'll see what happens when I pull them out. I love playing with liquid nitrogen because it's a lot of fun. There's the flower, and there it goes. So, yeah, don't do this at home. Uh, maybe in a lab if you're in the chemistry club or you're in a chemistry department that allows you to work with liquid nitrogen. This is another annual favorite of ours. We call it the lava lamp. This is another non-toxic reaction that you can do at home on your countertop, in front of your friends, and whatever else. So I don't need my lab gear for this. Don't need my goggles. Don't need my lab gear. This is a simple soda bottle with vegetable oil and water with a little bit of food coloring, just simple tap water. And what we're going to do is drop an Alka-Seltzer tablet down in the bottle. What's going to happen, we have a light source underneath for fun. What's going to happen is the Alka-Seltzer tablet will dissolve in the water and make carbon dioxide, which bubbles up through the oil and creates a lava lamp effect. All right, so this is one of our experiments that is toxic. So without safety gloves, safety lab coat, and safety goggles, and the supervision of a trained professional, this experiment should not be done. So what you do is you take a little bit of potassium iodide, and pour it into one of these big beakers, graduated cylinders, Do about one or two squirts of soap and a little bit of food coloring. And the next step is to add hydrogen peroxide. And this isn't the hydrogen peroxide that you can buy at the store, that is 3%, and this is 30%. Anything above 3% will not clean a wound. It will make the wound worse. So we take about 15 milliliters of this. Pour it into our graduated cylinder. And we should make some elephant toothpaste. 